OpenArt AI tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use OpenArt AI to create AI images. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So for those of you who don't know what OpenArt is, OpenArt is an application where you can come over here and create AI images. So as you can see right here, it says get started for free. So it is free, but there is a pricing plan, which we will get to later. And this is how it looks like right here is the preview. So you can see how you could able to create AI. So let's go ahead and create some. So over here, we have some examples of how it works. So let's go ahead and sign up and start using it. So let's go ahead and click on start creating now. It's free. There is a pricing plan, but we will get to that later. So when we click on get started for free, immediately it takes us to the dashboard. No sign up process. We can sign up later on. And here we can go ahead and start creating. So over here is the create image. Here is the edit image, as you can see right here. And here we have different style palettes. We have different personal models, so we can train some models or we can use the already made ones as well. So let's go ahead and click on next. And over here, we can go ahead and start creating. So let's go ahead and create an image. So to do that, we just simply click on create and here we select the style. So uh, we have choose a style, explore model. So we have hundred plus models to look at. We have our own custom model, which we can train by just adding stuff to it and letting it do its thing. And, and down below we have some featured apps. So over here, ultimate upscale. So we have a application that will help us to go ahead and make our video make our images more defined and here we have creative variations expand and remove background as well which i think is pretty cool and here we have some models so over here start from a model pre-made models if we click on view all it'll open up over here and we can see all the models so we have uh, community models over here uh, elsa its name is patikas we have jog so we have different models over here. We have the Sage one over here, uh, public props, Iskondrel. So let's go ahead and select a model or let's go ahead and create an image. So to create an image, we just simply click on create image over here and here we select the model. So over here, we'll click on next so we can get started with. Here is the prompt where we add the prompt and here we can go ahead and add image guidance. So this is not for the free plan. We have to upgrade the plan, but yeah. And down below, we can select how many images we want, right? So over here, you can see these are all the images that were created and these are all the models. So we can go ahead and select whichever one we want. So this is stable diffusion one model, uh, which is pretty cool. And this is Real Vision X, DAL E3, Flux, uh, Open Art. So we can select whichever one you want. If we click on to the switch button, we can go ahead and switch our models. So these are the current models that are available. The rest are only available if we go ahead and upgrade our account. So for now, we're going to select the stable diffusion one because I think that looks pretty cool. And now over here, we go ahead and start adding our prompts. If you want, you can select image to prompt as well. But for that, uh, you have to go ahead and sign up. So let's go ahead and sign up as well and get it out of the way. So we can sign up by Discord, Google, Twitter, or email. So I'm going to continue with Google. And here we go. So we are now signed in. We have our model set. And also we have this custom setting as well, where we can go ahead and add different, I would say, settings or different templates. So if we want a realistic portrait, we can go with that general anime style or vibrant. And we had more style. If we click on view more, we have more styles right here. So you can go ahead and pick whichever style you want. So we have uh, horror manga, chibi. We have caricatures, clean comics. Clean comics actually looks pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and select that and it'll open up in another tab. And if we want, here is the prompt as well. So black and white over here, we have the image to image. If we want, we can upload an image and it will convert that image into AI as well. So let's go ahead and first just create a simple image. So after adding in this prompt right here and selecting the models, next, all we have to do is just select the output. So we can go ahead and select the aspect ratio so we can go ahead and select whichever one we want so we'll leave it at default for now and we can even increase the width and height of it and we can even increase the number of images we want so over here as you can see uh, down below we have credits so we'll just go ahead and generate one because we are low on credits so we can have more images later on in this demo video so now we just simply hit the create button 
it'll take a couple of seconds and our image will be ready and here we have the image so now if we click on image it'll open up right here and it looks pretty good uh, if we want we can go ahead and create variations of it different variations so this one looks pretty cool let me zoom in a little bit there we go now it's much better uh, this is actually a pretty cool image uh, let's say i wanted to create an image over here right so we have image to image uh, the output image will have the same aspect ratio so over here we can upload the image right here we can reference a style reference a pose composition or face reference whatever we want we can go ahead and add them as well so uh, but i think we'll leave it at that so let's go ahead and create another image but and also let's go ahead and change the model so now we have a few models available to us because we've you know signed up so let's go ahead and use this model right here or this japanese one or we can find something cyberpunk type something futuristic let's go ahead and use 3d this one actually looks pretty cool so when we switch to 3d and let's go ahead and generate the exact same prompt all right we added the exact same prompt so that we can go ahead and do that we also have this enhance prompt button so if we click over here we can go with the quick enhance or customized prompt or imaged prompt so but we'll leave it at that for now and let's go ahead and generate one more image uh, it'll take approximately 3.9 seconds all right so here we have another image this one doesn't look as good as the previous one this one actually looks pretty cool this one is a little bit weird not a whole lot of details so maybe it's because of the of the engine so let's go ahead and choose a secondary one what if we choose to create the robot in a studio ghibli type so here we go this is the style that i was looking for let's go ahead and create one more because after that we can only create one more image and we'll run out of credits okay so we have another one but again this one looks very bad i don't know maybe it's because of the studio tile or maybe the prompts but this one was amazing let's go ahead and create one more image with stable diffusion excel using a different prompt all right so now let's go ahead and switch our model uh, we should use the old one but i just want to check out one last one uh, which is this one let's go ahead and see what this one would look like i've also changed the prompt as well so let's go ahead and click on create and it's created right here but this one was pretty cool this one was really really good uh the details and everything the eyes are a little bit weird but i think it adds to the aesthetic of it because you know it's a robot and it's supposed to be a little bit creepy and okay this one is done as well let's go ahead and take a look all right oh yeah this one looks much better than this one or this one but yeah i think this looks pretty cool so yeah we can create amazing looking images if we add decent enough prompts so uh, once we've done that we should be good to go so next if you want to download the image you just simply click on the image and you simply click on download as you can go ahead and download it as a jpeg png or svj uh, if you want to create different variations of it uh, you can go ahead and create variations either very subtle or very strong if you click on very strong two more images will be generated over here with different variations so as you can see it's still doing its thing it's going to take some time i think it takes like 12 or 15 seconds and here we go so now we have different variations of it so as you can see this one was the original this one is a little bit different because it has orange eyes overall it does look pretty similar the photo was taken from the left hand side and then we also have this one as well so this one looks pretty cool these images do look really really good so yeah after that we could just go ahead and download it now if you were wondering uh you know how much it costs so if over here if we want to click on upgrade we can see we have four plans uh, the free plan the starter the and the hobbyist and the pro right the free plan this is a one time 40 trial credits so over here we have 40 trial credits to experience all the features right and then we have up to four parallel generations and one time 40 trial credits for seven days so we only get seven days and if we want additional we can join their discord and we can get like 50 more credits all right and all your creations are private Whereas in the stardom one, you pay seven dollars, all right, which is going to be billed eighty-four dollars per year annually. You get five thousand credits per month, a hundred bulk credits, max twenty images generations. You get up to eight parallel generations, a hundred plus public models. All community models are going to be available to you. Up to two fine-tuned models, one time twenty trial credits access to exclusive premium ai tools so you get a bunch of stuff when you go ahead and you know purchase the plan 
and you get ultimate upscaler sketch to image 200 images per day for turbo models and you also get five images per day for ultimate upscale edit within painting image to image control net all personalized models are kept during the subscriptions and monthly paid credits can be used on public slash personalized models so you get a bunch of stuff i don't know but if you go ahead and you want even more stuff you go with the hobbyist which is going to be 13 dollars 156 per year in it, you get all the previous stuff, but instead of 5,000 credits, you get 15,000 credits per month and you get 500 bulk credits, which means you can generate up to 500 images, a max 100 image generations right here, but it's clocked. So keep that in mind. Everything included in the starter up to 16 parallel generations, four fine tuned models, one time 25, 500 images. So we already know that. And you also get the NSF prompts, except fine tuned models, and you get public NSF models as well. So keep that in mind. But yeah. And then you have the Pro One, of course, unlimited credits per month, 5,000 bulk credits, and you get max 500 image generations. Everything included, the hobbyist, and you get all the fun stuff. So 1,000 images per day, Turbo Max, two times speed. 5,000 images per bulk creation and faster generation as well. So yeah, I don't know if you want to go ahead and use these, but yeah, if we switch to monthly, then of course the prices are going to be a little bit expensive. So if you go with annually, you'll save 50%. Keep that in mind. So yeah, these were all the things you needed to know about Open Art AI, and that is how you use Open Art AI to generate AI images. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care and goodbye.